Okay guys, so something a little bit different in the ways of my posing content today. So I'm gonna actually pick apart um, a a pro. Well now at the, in this particular show, he's an amateur, but we're gonna look at uh, Logan Guthrie at the Amateur Olympia. I fucking think this is, uh, 2021. Um, so yeah, so the, the, the point of this is just more to show that even guys at the amateur level over here, you know, in comparison to guys who are a high level amateur in the States, which is a different kettle of fish altogether, or even professionals still have gaps in their game, still have room to improve and polish their presentation and their posing. So, and um, this video is just to highlight this. This is not to degrade or take anything away from Logan or anyone else for that matter. And um, me included, we all have room that we can improve. And that's what I guess the sport of bodybuilding is all about is constantly striving for perfection. And even though that might be chasing the dragon a little bit, it's still always good to try and put your best foot forward um, and bring the best you to stage possible. So, and um, this is more just to kind of to highlight the things that I look at in a posing routine um, or in poses in general. Um, routine more so in this video, but it just gives you a flavor of kind of the things that I do and the, the detail that goes into it. Um, especially with 2024 season approaching now, I think it's a good thing to for guys to see that you know, there's holes in your game and if you don't fill it, you know, this is kind of what you're left looking at. So, um, this is a one minute routine. Anyone that's amateur only gets 60 seconds, which is more uh, the reason to be making sure that you get the bang for your buck in that hour or in that hour, in that minute. And um, so we're going to have a, a look to here and the, the start of it is the number one, the classic problem. Um, and, and not just in classic, but it's, it's the walkout, it's the walkout, it's the jewelry flowy hand i'm gonna make this kind of it's there's probably not a lot of thought put into it but it, it just looks a little bit unnatural um, and it looks awkward um so to speak and uh, i know shows that i've done in the past they give you the option of having your music start as you hit center stage or if you want to walk out to it now unless you want to be theatrical and have some real slow walking music to start with I would leave it. Um, it could be 10 seconds where you could squeeze maybe fucking three or four poses into it. So what's the point? Um, on top of the fact that you end up looking like you have honey at the underside of your feet and you're kind of sticking to the floor, that kind of classic bodybuilder walk, kind of similar to when people pass you uh, or across the road in front of you doing that walk run uh, across the road. So it's just, it's something that I would rather not have do. And I would just, I would start my routine once I stand in the center of the stage. Um, but from there he does well, he comes up to into a front relaxed, which I often find um, front relaxed poses or just relaxed poses in general to be a little bit redundant unless they're colossal shots for you. Um, and then he comes up into this front double very really nicely. Um, he tilts his hip good, he has the foot already kicked out to allow him for um, this nice little bit of shape on his, on his taper. Uh, up top I would probably, I think his fist is behind his right ear, I'd push it more towards his left ear. Um, and just close the space a little bit and probably do a little bit more at the bicep, just con condense that, that space there. Um, and as opposed to elbows out, I'd probably go elbow front on so that he's showing that belly of that tricep the whole way down into the armpit. Um, but again, just nip picking. Um, from here, he goes down into these half-ish kind of quarter turn tricep shots, which I really don't like because they're very, very easy to get to do wrong and to have stuff go weird in them. Um, this one in particular, again, it's probably the cameraman's angle but he looks like he's showing more of the front of his body than the side. Now that's kind of the idea, but I think there should be, you know, a bit of an emphasis putting on his belly button towards the side of stage off to his left here um, and just creating more of a rotation around the hip so that you have a bigger uh, space between delt to delt and then quad to quad as well, because there's just there's a little bit more rotation happening from the hip. Um, but again, not a, a major biggie, um, but the major biggie with this comes from what follows this. So he has this shot. Pay attention to this kind of quarter turn kind of thing. Now, again, he's not fully extended now. He's he's going quick as well, but he has 60 seconds. But again, he's not really he's not really doubling down on his time here. So he could open this up more, particularly through the mid-back. Uh, he uses that to come into a side chest, which is fine. He hits it very fast as well, which is another problem. But then he comes straight back into that exact same transition. Now, coming from a side chest particularly, I would be more inclined to do the kind of the Arnie um, kind of pose or whatever. I don't know what you call that in particular. Um, I, I pull into the side chest and then come back into this shot where he has that kind of quarter turn kind of look going um, because this leads into a tricep. And to me, that quarter turn... And um, back shot is the most natural way to kind of and most, the most flowiest way to get into a side tricep. 
Um, but again, my problem here is now that he's just basically done the same shot twice, almost back to back. Um, now this is doing a traditional side tricep, although he's still twisted out. Again, I think it's cameraman's angle. Um, but I would just, to me, that's an opportunity missed. You know, he could have got another good shot there at the start. Um, instead of doing that quarter turn he side try, he could have hit an Aventoy off the front shot and then he could have twisted himself around kind of from this position. He could have kind of scooped hands down and come around into that, into his, into his side chest, then quarter turn out into a side tricep and then come back around. Um, and then again, he just uses that. Now, I know he's using this as a transition into his next shot, but that's now three side triceps that we've seen. And the only time I think you should really do something like that and rinse a pose is if it makes the whole crowd go mad. Like if everywhere goes goes mental off or it's just really that strong of a pose for you, then by all means, rinse it, rinse it try. But um, I think this is missed opportunities. Uh, he's used that nicely to come up into this side oblique. But again, probably cameraman's angle. He's shown more of the front of his body than anything else. This back delt bicep situation should be pushing his pecs around. And I should only really see from the middle split in his pec down, obviously with everything else kind of folding up around it. But this should be more of a of a hip rotation kind of going on here. And then that would allow him to uh, kind of point his quad more straight on, creating more space from quad sweep to quad sweep across. Um, now into his back shots. Um, again, I know setting up hamstrings is fine, but I, I wouldn't use it to just sit into a rear relaxed. He has a very, very dense and strong back and he's just done it twice. So again, I would set up and then if I've already kind of wasted time, so to speak, although he's probably not thinking in that regard, I, I would be capitalizing on that there to just get some shots done. Like the classic Ronnie tucking your pelvis under, flaring your lower back out and driving the elbows up and, and blowing out all your air to show all the fibers in the lower back. There's probably a, a better shout, shout there. Um, but again, and, and again, he, he only makes my point here. He's a really, really strong back. Um, so he's probably lost some, some space there where he could have uh, shown more of it. Um, from here, he fans up into a nice classic looking uh, back pose. Um, but this is where I want you to pay attention to this one. This is where I'm talking about the importance of transition. So from here, uh, especially the way that everything has gone in terms of the way his hands are, and if you look at the silhouette down from the bottom, a nice complement to this would to pull this right leg, pull the foot across the left leg, um, and then again, just creating more kind of lines and curvatures all the way up to kind of really to mimic this arm. But from here, where it would help him is, see those three or four steps he took coming onto his front shot? If he had twisted his feet behind um, on this one, so from here, hand goes up, and as the hand goes up, hold it for a second, right foot goes over left foot and then spin right around twist right around and then you end up basically here where he could make this kind of funny remark at his calves already in the in that position so from here cross the foot over spin around and then you're already left leg is already poking out and then whatever and um, being funny would not be my emphasis on routine but again that's just what he wanted to do and that's fine and um, but then again finishing off into a back pose or to a side chest so we have two side chests we have three nearly four side triceps we have two versions of a back double bicep and we have a front relaxed and a rear relaxed so all in all you're talking 10 shots best finishing with the most muscular and um, which is a very very good shot from um obviously not a classic pose but again these are the, the, the gaps that can happen so that's 55 seconds worth of routine and um, for I'm not, I'm not counting off the top of my head maybe 10 12 poses whereas if he had capitalized on it better you would have had a pose of each over those 12. So those 12 wouldn't have looked as exhaustive as multiples of the same pose, but then you would have also had a, a more natural uh, more natural flow to the routine um, and then displaying more parts of his physique. Now, again, the routine is, you know, a place where you're able to hide into your stronger shots. And if they're your stronger shots, then fine. But, um, but the, the setup, the sequence, the transitions from one to the other, uh, I think would could be capitalized on more and that's kind of what my aim is with working with guys for uh, pose and coaching. So as the 2024 season draws closer, anyone that's looking to bring their best polish, polished presentation to stage, uh, feel free to go to coachboy underscore cav on Instagram, hit the link in my bio and there you will find the link for the CBK pose and coach package. Um, and that is 100 quid a month. There's weekly check-ins and uh, and again no matter what it is you need to work on whether it's transitions whether it's stage presence or routines or all of the above and um, i am here to help you and um, no matter your category so if you're a classic physique men's physique men's open bodybuilding 
uh, Bikini, Wellness, uh, in PCA or IFBB or any other federation, um, head to the link in my bio and sign up now. And I look forward to helping you guys polish your presentation for the 2024 season.